The Desperation of Marvel. So, Avengers Secret Wars, Josh Brolin is now said to be in talks to return as Thanos. We're basically going to get a greatest hits. Uh, we're getting Robert Downey Jr. back, obviously not as Iron Man, as uh, Doctor Doom. And now they want to bring Josh Brolin back as Thanos. I don't have anything against that. Like Thanos is a great villain. But they killed him. They were so quick to sort of bin off what worked and to try to, I guess, leap ahead to the next nonsense-driven agenda that they were pushing, which was the MCU. I know it's a, you know, it's a bit of a sort of a cynical phrase, but it was something that they were actively pushing. Captain Marvel was going to lead the Avengers. It was just nonsense, like characters no one cared about. So there's two things I wanted to take a look at today to discuss Marvel being desperate. This is one of them. This is terrible. Again, it's not terrible in the respect that, you know, Thanos is bad or Josh Brolin is bad. They were they were really, really good. Thanos was good. Josh Brolin was good as Thanos. But they just... They ruined the character. They didn't really do anything with him. It's pointless. So, yeah, here we have. Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars are shaping up to be massive MCU events, are they really? Yeah, that's what they want them to be. Uh, the latter in particular could easily wind up being the most ambitious superhero movie ever made. The directors have come out and said, um, the directors of this, obviously, have now, you know, directing other things. Uh, they've come out and said that one of their new movies is their most ambitious VFX one yet. It's like, yeah, I remember how the VFX teams went for, uh, Infinity War and Endgame wasn't really good. So don't be too ambitious is what I'm trying to say because these people don't handle ambition very well. Uh, even though no characters have been officially confirmed to appear just yet, the movie is expected to feature a new roster of Earth's mightiest heroes. The Thunderbolts team are rumoured to form the basis of the new Avengers. Oh, goody. Along with the surviving members of the original team. Goody. We've also heard that at least some variants will be involved, of course, as well as some characters from 20th Century Fox's Marvel movies. It says this, of course, we do know that Robert Downey Jr. will be back, but as Doctor Doom, who may or may not turn out to be a Tony Stark variant. So just in case Secret Wars wasn't already sounding way too jam-packed, we recently reported that Thanos may also show up and uh, Twitter scooper, my time to shine, hello, is now claiming to have confirmed that Josh Brolin is in talks to reprise his role as the Mad Titan. Scooper also mentions that Peter Parker will go to college in Spider-Man 4, though that's not really a surprise, he's college age. So how big a part of Thanos uh, that Thanos will have, obviously we don't know. But of course there's just ridiculously high amounts of all characters being in this, so I can't imagine it being much. It says here that there's been some speculation that the powerful villain might be involved in the creation of Battleworld with or in place of the Beyonder. Avengers Doomsday arrives May 1st, uh, 2026, followed by Avengers Secret Wars on May 7th, 2027. Both films will be directed by the Russo brothers. So it is genuinely just the greatest hits. That's what they're trying to do. They're just wheeling out the greatest hits. Like, oh, we'll bring, we'll bring the original directors back. That's fine. Oh, we'll do this as well. Oh, we'll, we'll bring that villain back. Oh, we'll bring Robert Downey Jr. back. Just a different guy now, but maybe he'll be the same kind of character, but just a different version of. Oh, yeah. Oh, apparently we're going to bring Billie Eilish into it. Fucking singer. What are we doing? She can't act. Like, what, what are you doing, Marvel? What are you actually doing? They want to sign Billie Eilish for a major role. This this is peak desperation. Do you remember She-Hulk when they got Megan the Stallion in to twerk with She-Hulk? This is on that level. This is... Yeah, this is like... D-tier desperation. D for desperation. This, is sh this shit is whack, man. This is crap. Now it says this. 
We're sure Billie Eilish needs no introduction. Yeah, I mean, for anyone that's like between the ages of 16 and 25, I guess. Everyone else couldn't give a toss who this person is. Even if you wouldn't count yourself among her legions of fans, she's undoubtedly become one of the biggest recording artists in the world over the past few years. I don't understand why. She's not that good a singer. I know, Boomer here. Uh, the Grammy and Academy Award winner. Uh, she won an Academy Award for No Time to Die. And What Was I Made For as well. Um, so she made her acting debut as a sinister cult leader, Ava, in an episode of Prime Video Swarm. Garnering a lot of praise for her unsettling performance. I didn't watch that. I don't care. I don't know what that shit is. Um, so she said this. I was on some management call and I remember being told there's this show, but it's during a period of time where you're not available. It's a pass. I just told Variety about seizing her first acting opportunity. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. What the F are you talking about? This is my dream. Some of the fans have talked about how they love Ava and think she's so comforting. Guys, no, it's a front. She wants the worst of the worst. And that happens where people bring you in and make you feel comfortable and safe. And then they abuse the shit out of you. So Eilish has said on a number of occasions that she wants to continue acting. And Daniel Richtman is now reporting that Marvel Studios is interested in signing her for a big MCU role. Oh yeah, I can't wait for her melancholy nonsense performance. Uh, Billie Eilish's song, You Should See Me In A Crown, was used for Agatha all along. Which may have led to a discussion, apparently. Uh, 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 I'm just gonna keep doing that for a little bit. No, I'm not. Like she shouldn't be, she shouldn't be doing anything. She's ridiculous. Like actually absurd. Actually absurd. I'm just looking through some of these comments just to see. But yeah, this is bad. Can she act? No, she can't. She got a show. She's in a small role. She's not exactly a great singer either. Oh, I don't know. This, again, Marvel. Desperation. Marvel. Complete shit show. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think to Thanos returning? Josh Brolin coming back? What do you think to the greatest hits? What do you think to Billie Eilish? Let me know what you think. Cheers. Bye now. <laughs>